this video will give you an introduction to the game. The name is Grid Football, American Football Board Game. And this is the box. And as you can see on the box, you can see the rectangles making a line for the linemen and the black rectangles are the defensive linemen. This would be the quarterback triangle. This would be a running back running through the line. And this would be a pass to a receiver out here. And this is a defensive uh, safety or back. Same thing over here and they can throw it here or there. So it kind of gives you an idea on the box what's going on. So once you open the box, it's neatly packed. Um, you have your red team, your blue team, markers for both, and dice, okay? Which I've already unpacked for your convenience. And there are, so let's take a look at the whole board for a second, okay? It fits on a standard size coffee table. And we're playing um, beginner rules, which means you can have three linemen, offense and defense, and four backs. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And then um, you can see on this side right here, we have two extra linemen in case we want to have five linemen. And this is our star linemen and star back. You can see how tall they are. And they will star on the top. And they have one extra unit, but we're not going to talk about those right now. And you can see the yard marker here slides up and down. A standard game, well, we would start on the 20-yard line, and both of these yard markers will move to both sides if you play in opposite each other. You can also play on the same side here. So both sides can keep track of the uh, how many yards there are left to go. Um, so you could start on the 20-yard line, or you can even kick off, but that's very advanced, so we're not going to talk about that. I have this yardstick just to show you how, uh, it's approximately one yard long and it folds when you take it out of the box it folds like this this is another one that i've customized for my alma mater university of miami and that's about a three and a half inch decal uh, anything between three and four inches will fit on there and um there are other many other places you can put school decals and what else okay and that's about it so then you have uh oh well we also have these shakers which are optional <clears throat> we even have a white one and a set of white uh pieces so you can color them to your preference now you may notice that the um end zones are kind of big right well, this is listed as 100 yards, but it's not really 100 yards. This is a simulation of 10 yards, all right? So um, you, can, you can see the markers down here in black. But for reference, we, we wanted it to look just like a regular football field. And so this is really the one yard line, not the 10. And this would, so you, if you think about this being 10 yards, this being 10 yards, this being 10 yards, that being 10 yards, you can see this would be uh, the end zone. Uh, this would be 10, this would be 20 yard line, and this would be 40 yard line. So this is 40 yards and about a third of the way across the field. So it's about a, maybe a, a, a quarter of the field approximately. So the reason why we do that is because we want to make the most use of the player pieces and it's a true simulation of football, which we, you'll see in a second. So we can just get started and play. The first thing that happens is you uh, set up your markers here and you can see markers keeping track of the score and the keeping track of the downs. And uh, the, um, 
You have challenging dice where you can get an interception, a completion, an incompletion. Uh, when, okay, so let's say this is going to be our quarterback. Let's say blue is, uh, is going to be offense first. And for most of these videos, I'll make blue offense just for the sake of continuity. You can see it's a really adorable little football. And he goes right inside any one of the backs, which are triangular shaped. And these are the chess, uh, checker style pieces. We have chess style pieces, but through testing, we found that these are a lot more fun and a lot easier to move. This is what a chess style piece would look like. And then the, the ball would fit over the helmet like that. So you can buy those later, but it's best to learn with the, what I call the checker style, because they're flat and they slide. You can use your finger, you can even use a pencil. All right, and what else did we not talk about? Okay, this is a, just a regular marker that you can use to say, well, if I go here, or if I go one, two, three, one, two, three, you can leave, leave it there to see if what, the way it visualizes it. And when you throw a pass, when you throw a pass, you don't take it out of the quarterback and throw it. You put it on, on this holder, and then you would throw it down the field, and it would stay in the, on the holder. Let's say this back was trying to catch it, the wide receiver, and then uh, the defensive back would try to get a hold of it. And I'm talking about backs in line without explaining, so let me back up a little bit. There's two types of players. There are linemen, and there are backs. Backs are also wide receivers, anything, that, any player piece that catches the ball. And um, if you want to play a quick game, you can play from the center, from the 50-yard line, and um, you have one down per side, so nobody's waiting for downs to get the offense. And then it, it, no matter how many yards you get, let me zoom in over here, I can show you a little bit. You can track how many yards they got. So if you got only 30 yards, it'll go up to that 30. You can see that. So you only have one down if you wanna play a very quick game, okay? So, all right, so the first, um, you, you unpacked it and you put the yard lines on there and you, the, the offense lined up first, and he wants a little running back behind here for whatever reason to hand off or whatever, or to protect it, the quarterback, and two wide receivers, okay? But they're all considered backs to us. And you have two dice, which you can use our little cooler shakers, or you can just roll with your hands. And then... Um, once the blue side, the home team, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, offense go, uh, lines up their pieces, then the defense, the red team, will line up. I just put four there randomly, but you might want to come up, up here and come right in their face, slow them down because he can't run right through you. He's got to go around you, so he's got to go. He's got to go around you, which will slow him down, and then you can come and attack the quarterback, or you can stay laid back. You can have one guy rush the quarterback. You can have a deep safety. Any kind of setup you want, as long as the linemen are between the hash marks, and um, you can't have, for example, a lineman in the middle of uh, back in the middle of your lineman like that. But he can be up to the hash marks, but he cannot be inside. Even if you're lined up like that, he can't be here. He's got to be here. Okay, so that's about the simple rules. Now, let me tell you how the lineman and the backs work so you know. And, and at the end of this video, you'll, you'll already know how to start playing. So first, the blue, the home team, lines up first. He plays offense first because, as gentlemen, you want the visitor team to always have the last shot at offense. 
we have what's called drive innings. The home team has a, the blue home, home blue team has a drive, and then the visitor team has a drive. If the home team the, uh, gets 100 points first, the uh, visitor, the red team, has another chance to go. So if they get 110, they win. If they get 90, they lose. If they are both equal at 100, it keeps going, inning by inning, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, until at the end of the, what we call a drive inning, meaning both sides went offense at this, uh, equally, then uh, one side is 10 points ahead, like sort of like tennis, okay? So now uh, blue side lines up, and then the red side can figure out where they want to go. He can maybe go here for uh, f to rush the quarterback. He can kind of stay back if you want to play it safe. That's where you have all of these guys to rush the quarterback. And you don't have to worry about this guy running out, running out here, running there. Um, he's kind of in front of you. You just have to make sure he doesn't get behind you. Because keep in mind that the backs can go... The defensive backs are facing this way. The offensive backs are facing that way. This guy can go one, two, three forward. Any combination of three going horizontal and vertical. One, two, three. 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 And at the same time, uh, and can go uh, two sideways. One, two. One, two. And he can go two backwards also. One, two, only horizontal and vertical. One, two, and one, two. And that's pretty much your range. You can go from here to here to here. One, two, three, all the way up to here, right? And then um, at the same time, you can use what we call a shortcut. You can go one, two, three, but you don't need to. You can just go one diagonal and one horizontal or one vertical, one diagonal. So you can go anywhere you can go one, two, three, horizontal and, 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 and vertical. You can do one diagonal and one horizontal or vertical, okay? Same thing backwards, you can go back one this way or one, two back, okay? So uh, here we're given him plenty of room to run. But at the same time, he can throw a pass to him right here and you won't be able to cover it. Maybe you won't get far, but that's a chance you gotta take. On the first roll, the um, quarterback is receiving the ball, so he cannot hand off and he cannot throw. But he could receive the ball here or in the shotgun form formation over here, or he can receive the ball here. And if you, for example, lined up over here, right? He could come here, come here, and then one, two, three, run right up the middle. You see that? So you got to be careful. He can run with the ball, but he can't give it to anyone else because he just received it from the center. All right. So we'll play this guy a little off center just to mix it up a little bit, or you can just mirror him either way. And um, and that's it, we can, we're ready to go. The lineman, well, let me point out what the lineman can do. I'll move this guy out of the way, make it easier for you. Uh, the lineman can go one, two forward, or one, two sideways, one, two. So it seems like he can go one, two anywhere, except for backwards. He can only go one, only here, not here or there. The same thing with the offensive lineman, he can go You see that? Zoom out a little bit. So he can go uh, one, two. You see that? Yeah. Um, he can go one, two. He can go one, two. But he can only go back one this way, not here or there. All right? And that makes a big difference. You'll find out later. And that's all he can do. As far as the uh, the star players, they just have one more extra unit of energy. So the star linemen can go one, two, three forward, just like the backs. They can move just like the backs, but they're much more powerful. And we'll talk about that later when we run into the blocks, uh, and which is going to happen right away. So uh, let's put them back where they were. 
okay? And this guy's giving him plenty of room, this guy's giving him plenty of room, and we got a nice deep safety and a, and a pass rusher. And that's it, you're ready to start the game. This is the midfield version of the game. Let me zoom in now a little bit. This is the midfield version of the game. And um, let's see. Uh, let's just start playing. Uh, this is one down. Now, we could start on the 20 and use four downs to get all the way across. Uh, th that's the way most people are going to want to play because that's the way real football is played. But I would recommend to practice this way. One down for blue, one down for the for the, uh, uh, the blue home team gets the offense, then the red team gets the offense back and forth, and, 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 the, and the score goes up quickly. Okay, so we'll roll for the blue. He gets a four and a three, and uh, you can move all the linemen. Oh, I want to be in the shotgun formation. You can move all the linemen first, or all the, all, all, all the linemen, or all the backs first. Um, instinct makes you want to move your, your backs. One, two, three. In the pros, it's a little, in the pro level, it's a little different. You have to move the linemen first. Uh, four, five. Four, five, six, seven. Because I'm not bringing these guys up to make a pocket to protect from this guy when he can he can go one, two, three. So I'm gonna bring my running back over here to protect against this guy making a pass rush, and at the same time. I run right up here. This, by the way, is the perfect way to cover the offense, nose to nose. Can we see that? Yeah. And uh, this guy has to get himself over here. So he has to, that's why I went one, two that way, because I wanted to force him to move that back. All right, so four and three, and uh, we've, we've, we've done one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you used all, all four and three, all seven for the backs. If it was uh, six and two, I'd probably use two for the linemen. Okay. And then the defense will go five and six. That's a really good move. Now the defense can go one, two, but the defense doesn't want to do that. That's a better move for the offense. Like for a running play, you can go one, two, because you want to definitely stay in the block because while you're in the block, he's not allowed to back out and then you're allowed to escape. And I'll show you that in a second. So one, two, three, that's all you can do. Now keep in mind, this is typically designed for five players. Uh, so if you, if you had five linemen, you'd use all of them. Okay, and then um, uh, we have a six, and uh, what do we want to do? We definitely want to use one here. These guys can, uh, this way he cannot catch a pass. Um, and uh, I want to attack. I'm going to go, uh, so that's one. Uh, this guy can go three, one, uh, two, three, four. Okay, we'll go in there. And then... That's it, I'm happy with this guy over here. Neither one of them needs help. Maybe I might go back a little bit. Nah, he's okay. So we're not even using all the energy. Let the offense go, four and six. Well, you can see he's about, he just needs one, two to, to sack me here. So I wanna get to safety. I'm going to uh, run away. Um, I may uh, wanna move these guys out of my way, one, so I can do one, two. Now, I wanna point out something else. The way these line up automatically, regardless of how they look, they are always lined up like this. So you can move them around just so you can visualize, but because this guy is on the same line as the 
let me move this guy out of the way for just a second. This center is blocking this spot. This left guard, uh, right guard, left guard, whatever, they, they're, they're both blocking this spot also because the quarterback is diagonal in that direction. But they have a half a block this way, meaning that you can exit, but you have to go in a straight line. Okay, so let's put that guy back back over here okay so what are we going to do we could just go and block him now keep in mind the defensive back is always facing our cute little quarterback he's always facing him so we cannot block him from here here or, or from this direction right uh, but this guy can easily block him but uh, once you block him he can get escape the block and we'll talk about that later when that happens so what i want to do i happen to know what i want to do i'm going to do one two that's a push okay and uh i can do two more if i want three four because notice how these three guys are still forming the line you see and then so that's four, we'll take that off the board. Now we got six remaining for the backs. This guy needs some help, so let's, he can only move one sideways to the left or right and one back, but forward he can move like a regular back three. So instead of being able to move two back and two sideways, he can only go one back and one sideways because he's looking forward and he can't go backwards and sideways. He can only go forward so he's going to go uh, one, two, and this guy, we want him here, complete the circle. But he cannot take a diagonal because this side of the line of scrimmage, or midfield in this case, is uh, a block zone. So this defensive back is giving what we call a body block, meaning he, 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 if there's nobody on, these, on both of these, he can just come here and complete the circle or here and complete the uh, line, right? But since he's over, the, the defensive back is right here, he wants to come here. He's gonna have to go one and two forcing this the guy to come one, two, three to get him. If he has doubles, he can go one, two, three, and boom, and sack, and then the play is over, okay? So he did one, two, this guy did three, four, and now we only have uh, one guy left to go, um, well, we can do um, five, six. I'll show you what happens next. And then that's it. We can't move that guy, okay? And then the red team goes. He's Now, you're going to be desperate to go one, two, three, one to get him. But you got to pay attention because this guy can only go two back, all right? He cannot get here. That's one, two, three. He cannot go in front of him and cover him. This guy is allowed to go. He's typically facing forward. And during a pass, he's always facing forward. But... On this side of the line of scrimmage, midfield in, in, in this game, uh, he can be facing forward or he can face left and right. He just can't turn around and go backwards, right? So he can go three, that direction, that direction, or that direction, except during a pass. So the point I'm, I'm making is he, can't, he doesn't need to just go one, two sideways. He can turn, face this direction, and go one, two, three, and now, He's covering him nose to nose. All right, one, two, three. And then now we have another three. That guy's okay, this guy's okay. Uh, we may want to go one, two, three, come up here and cover the quarterback from running. Or we're dying to do this. So what did, what did we do so far? Just one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's all. Oh, and then we have a one. 
That's a good, very good point. Now, these guys change directions. Now they're facing the quarterback. The back of the offensive lineman is always facing the quarterback. In this case, they're all facing this diagonal because the quarterback is right here. Can you see that? The quarterback is right here. So these guys are, are blocking these spots. So this guy cannot go here. If he was here, he could. But he can, so he cannot go here, but he can go here freely. This guy cannot go here because the, there's a blue on this side and there's a blue on this side. So these two guys reinforce this block. Otherwise, if they weren't there, uh, he could go this direction in a straight line. So what can we do? We can't go here, but we have one warning, so we'll make use out of it. The best we can do is go here. That's the best thing we can do. So at least the quarterback can't go one, two, three, and run straight over there and try to make a run for the end zone. All right, and then um, the offense goes, he's in a bit of a, a, a sticky wicket here. As you can see, uh, the defensive back is always facing the quarterback. This is our quarterback, in case you forgot. And This guy is, uh, the defensive lineman is facing the quarterback also. And uh, you cannot block him from this, this, or this spot. That would be an illegal block from the back. But from the side, you can do one right there. If I choose to, to use my lineman first, now I got to use all my linemen, okay? So I used one over there. So I'll, I can't, back out of here, there, or there. Um, but I can um, push them out of my way. What else can I do? I could push them here, there, or there. I just push them out of my way. Two, three. So that's one, two, three. And... Uh, well, I would like to back out, but when, once they're in a block, you cannot go backwards. They're entangled. Okay, so that's about it out of that four. And now we have six for the line for the backs. And what do we want to do with that? We could throw a block on him. That would prevent him from tackling the quarterback for one roll at least. Um, but, but let me see if I can do something more clever. I can come one, two, three. So that prevents him from using any shortcuts to get over here, over here. So he's gonna have to use one, two, three to get there. And um, let's see, so that's one, two, three. And this guy definitely wants to get moving. Four, five. And six over here. Now, if the uh, defense, this is beginner, so if you roll a double, you get an extra energy unit. So if that was a double five, this guy would go one, two, three, and then boom, knock over our quarterback, this guy, but doesn't have that. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to cover this guy. He's in the end zone. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. This guy over here, we ran around him, and now he can only go one, two. He can't get there. He can go one over there. And that could be a little bit of a problem. And, um, well, let's do the easy thing first. One we can do here. So now they're covered nose to nose. So you know uh, this guy cannot 
catch the ball without being covered from this guy because if he's going three forward and this guy's going two back, uh, you know, one, two, three, he can go two. One, two, three, he can go. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, so that's where you want, that's how you cover the, the uh, offensive back. And then, uh, so that's one. And then this guy can only go two, which is not great, but we'll see what happens in a second. And then, um, we can attack the quarterback, go three, four. Or, hold on. We can just go three, four, five, six. And the reason why I did that is because I want to use the five for my linemen, get them in action. Now, remember, this guy is over here, so he's blocking only this. I can come out here, one. That's all I can do. This guy is technically in the lined up that direction because that's where the quarterback is. So this is a half block. Nobody saw he can come up one, two. But before we do that, we've done one so far. And uh, this guy can go two. This guy can go three, four. And that's it. Okay? Now, if you s slide over a little bit here to take a look at what we have here, this guy can go three forward. One, two, three. This guy can only go one, two back. So he cannot cover him 100%, but he can get to the right spot. For example, if he goes one, two, three, he can go one, two, one, two, right? And he can be, uh, oh, the quarterback's here. Um, so then that would be the uh, place to, um, to challenge him. There's two challenge spots. Either you can get right on top of him or you can get in between him and the quarterback. I'll show you in just a second. Or we can just do, let me see, uh, one, uh, one, two, three. And the quarterback's straight ahead. He just has to go there to get a challenge. Hmm. Um, I'm not really ready to get out of this guy's grip. One, two. Yeah. So he can always challenge, but I'm about to get sacked here. I could try to make a run for it, or I can just go for it all. Let's go for it all. What do you say? Let's have some fun. Okay. Let's go for it all. So he's got to go. Um, well, we got to roll our dice first. Now this is a beginner. In uh, professional, you have to roll one die, move the guy, another die, throw the ball. But for beginners, we can roll two dice and he could throw straight. Uh, college and pro, you cannot throw straight. The blue guy cannot throw, throw straight when there's a, an opponent red here. So, but we don't worry about that in beginner. We're just playing. And uh, this guy's gonna go one, two, Three, doesn't really matter where you go because he can get you no matter what. One, two, three, he can still, uh, by the way, see this yellow dotted line and the hash marks? That's one uh, pass sector lane. But we don't worry about that in beginner um, uh, other than the fact that this guy, uh, this quarterback is in the same lane. So that means that this is the spot that you are, um, you have to reach to cover the ball. So I'm gonna go one, uh, one, two, three, 
or shortcut, I can go one, two, and then I'm going to throw the ball, but not just yet. What we're gonna do is we're going to put the ball in the holder and put it right, sorry, right over here. Can you see that? Let's take a little closer look. And we're gonna put the ball right over here. So he's in the holder. And we can move the other guys if we want, but there's really no point, uh, you know, because he only went uh, one, two, this guy can go uh, three, four, you know, whatever, if this guy can move, who cares? And then uh, the other one is for the ball, typically. They use past sectors for college and pro, but for a beginner, you can just, you can only use one of these two because one belongs to the ball. And um, and you only need w one unit of energy. So even if you have a one, you can use it to make life easier for them and, you're, uh, and the ball is thrown, okay? If these two were close together, then you could kind of throw a body block and, so, and this gets more complicated. But let, let's just finish the play so you see what's happening, okay? Now the defense rolls two, and all he really needs is a one, two, because these two guys are in the same pass sector lane, which is by these yellow dotted lines in the hash marks, right? There's the center one and the left and right one, okay? The center, center, left and right, okay? So then uh, you roll it, oh, he only needs a two anyway, so it doesn't matter. But keep in mind, in this game, if you roll a double one, you lose your turn. So if, if you roll the double one right now, that would be a touchdown right away. So he's gonna come one, two, and um, there's no point in, cover, in, in, in challenging him. Again, in college and, and in pro levels, we can do double challenges or anything, but for beginners, all you have to do is get in this one spot, or you can even challenge from inside here. And we have three different challenging die, uh, die. This one with the interception is, if you reach the same grid, then you would roll this one, but he doesn't have the interception. For college and pros, you would roll this one because if you reach here, it's automatically incomplete. But, and then the, the next biggest one, this one uh, doesn't have an interception, but it has three and three, three blues and three reds, three incompletes and three completes. And the star means it's complete and, and, and you, you roll again. The complete means that you are um, complete and you're tackled right there. So we're gonna roll this one. And it gets a little, uh, a little bit uh, uh, um, uh, complex, a little bit, because if uh, this guy was a star, then he would get the, uh, the easier roll, or, or the harder roll, the, the bigger one. It would automatically upgrade, or vice versa, or this guy. But anyway, so he's gonna get the middle one. There's a large, medium, and small uh, challenging die. And we're gonna roll this. Well, it starts off the defense says, I challenge you. The offense can refuse the challenge because maybe he doesn't want the interception, but in this case, there's no chance of it because we're playing beginner level and there's just three completes and three incompletes, no interception. So uh, if he refuses the challenge, it's incomplete. So of course he's gonna take the challenge and uh, let's roll that and see who, see who wins. Right there, boom, that's a touchdown. So that makes it pretty easy, but it was a 50-50 chance, really, because he was able to get there, could have been incomplete. And um, had he, uh, uh, he been able to get one further, then there would be no ch chance for a challenge if this guy couldn't get within um, uh, that spot. If they were here, if they were challenging here, he would have to get to that spot because the quarterback is in this lane. Same thing over there. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And uh, so that's that would count as uh, for the midfield game, that would actually count as uh, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 points and an extra two bonus for the touchdown. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the red. 
go to the other side. This is a very fast version of the game. That's why I'm showing it to you. And there's only one down per, per team. And so it would come up to, you, get, you made 50 yards, and then you get two extra, like seven points, 70 points, because uh, you made the touchdown. And uh, now if he had caught the ball here, for example, and then he would have um, had the 10, 20, 30, 40 points. You see my fingers here? Had he gone, uh, gotten in, uh, uh, complete here, he would have gotten 10, 20, 30, 40, no matter which lines you actually pass. And if we're playing four downs, it would be fourth and one. And we've got some beautiful fourth and one plays. And it's as simple as that. Um, you can start at the 20 and go all the way across with four downs. Or now uh, the red team can go and have one down and try to get as many points as possible. And you can see it's only going to take uh, uh, two or three tries before someone hits 100 yards. But even if, he reach, even if the blue reaches 100 yards um, first, the red team still has to go. He's the, he's the guest. He's the visitor. And he always goes last as a courtesy. Typically, the home team always allows the visiting team to go last. If you're going to have a halftime, which we'll talk about later, then the visiting team would go first, and then they switch. The home team goes, and the second half goes first, and allowing the visiting team to go last. That's assuming nobody wants to change the rules, but there is something in game theory called home rules, which we always oblige to, meaning the owner of the game is the home team and they can change the rules at will because it's their home, their game, they can change the rules. But according to the official rules, we want to be gentlemen. And that's about it. Then um, uh, this would be over and uh, uh, we got 70 points for the blue team. And the red team has still has zero, but he hasn't gone yet. We give the balls over to the red team. And another nice thing with the, um, with the midfield, or with the three linemen, it's very easy to set up again. But you'll, you'll want to go with five linemen, believe me, if you're, uh, if you're intelligent, if you're, uh, a ch you want a challenge, believe me, that becomes like a Rubik's Cube in here. And you can stay in the pocket for four, five, even six rolls if, you, if you're sharp. Okay, and then, uh, so we got four of these. We'll, uh, uh, we'll do the same thing that the red team did. We'll do a safety. Or maybe we'll do that other thing I was talking about. We'll go right in his face here, right in his face here. Get rid of these dice. And we'll pick him up after he passes me. We'll pick him up with these two guys. We'll pick him up with these two guys and, but don't tell the red team this. And then we're gonna, we're gonna rush both of these, okay? And that's the end of the very first play that you should play to learn how to play this game. Thank you very much. Let me... Let me put my marker here so we know this was step A. Step B will be the red team is gonna go. Thank you very much.